Hey guys, welcome back. And I know it's been a long time. I think it's been like five or six months ago since the last time I uploaded my last video. So yeah, I am here again for another easy and delicious recipe. And it's gonna be wonton. Da -da -da -da. Yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, I know it's easy, but oh my god, it's I love it. It's such easy recipe and you can just like do it in big batch. You can, you know, freeze the rest and just enjoy it the next meal. And yeah, especially during this time when you don't have time to prepare every meal because time goes by so fast. And especially if you have kids in the house that are doing their school remotely. All right, enough of that. So, let's get on to the video. Thanks for watching and it's good to see you again. Ingredients are shrimp, ground pork, and your wonton wrapper. For the veggies, I use mushroom, cabbage, um, ginger, garlic, green onions, cilantro, and water chestnuts. And for your sauce, we'll be using soy sauce, less, less sodium soy sauce, sesame oil, hoisin sauce, or oyster sauce whichever you have black pepper and um, some chicken broth or water is fine as well and then what you're gonna do is gonna mince all the veggies including the shrimp and then mix them all together so yeah I'm gonna tell you guys this recipe is very tedious like in terms of like chopping you're really gonna use your muscle here in, in chopping and in mixing. So yeah, you're gonna mix all the veggies together so to get um, ahead and then you mix your shrimp and your pork and then use the big spoon to start um, incorporating all of them together and then add your sauce. So the reason why I add um, chicken broth, or you can also add water, is to like add a little more moisture, so that um, they're later they're gonna be like kind of gooey, you know. All the pork and the shrimp would actually really mix together. And pull your sleeve and start mixing just like so. As you can see, I'm using um, chopstick to um, mix like this. I just think that it's way better than just, you know, using spoon. And yeah, you're going to end up having yummy meat mixture just like so. And they're all moist and very good looking. So yeah, and then we're going to wrap them. And there are a million ways. Well, not million, but there's so many ways to do uh, to wrap the wontons, and this is how I am doing it. So I just like put it in the middle, and fold it in half, and fold it one more time, and then I just locked it up, and then yeah, okay, one more time. So put all the waters around so that it would stick together, and then kind of press it down, and then. And then fold it one more time and then just lock it both sides yeah and then you're gonna have as many as you want and then you're gonna boil water or you can also steam it if you have one but we just usually boil it and then you just put all of them in the water and pretty much that's how you do it <laughs> So yeah, just boil them together and then leave them until a few minutes. I would say five minutes. They cook really, really fast. And you don't want to overcook them because the wonton wrapper was, is going to like, you know, get saggy. Just like how you cook the pasta, you know, if it's overcooked, it's going to really taste saggy. And um, yeah, you want a little texture. So for my wonton... I left it, um, top it with, with um, soy sauce, with chili um, sauce. I'm using two kinds of chili sauce, the sambal, and um, the other one with the beans, with black beans. You can find it in any Asian market. And then, 
Yeah, this one is the one that has like black um, beans and soybeans in it. And then I like to top it off with kimchi. I know. I mean, but trust me, it's really good. Look at you guys. How good is that? It's very simple, but very, very delicious. So I hope you guys give this a try and thank you for watching. And let me know how it turns out. And yeah, thanks again. Bye.